Hey guys, I was reading my comments and I got a request for a video asking what are the internals of a light and how do they work? So today what I thought I'd do is I was going to take three of my lights, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I was going to take a scanner, um, halogen, a moving yoke halogen, and an LED triphase um, just to kind of go through the quick basics of what's inside one of these and how all the pieces work. So without further ado, we're going to start taking this apart and talking through the way of what all the pieces do and how they're affected and how you can modify them. So let's get started. So first off is the easiest place where they literally just put thumb screws so that the user um, can open these without any problems. But all we got inside here is you can see is that's the bulb replacement. Now because it's a halogen, you never want to touch these by hand. The oils in your hand can actually screw up the bulb. So you always want to take a latex glove. And here it just has a little slot. There you go. So that's our halogen bulb, the fitting. And then here it just has a tether which we could always take out. It looks like they put in a tamper resistant screw, but you can always cut that if we need it. But we're going to put that right back now. And now we're going to take off the main housing. Alright, so this is an easy one. All this is, is a focus, so just like a magnifying glass. And all it's doing is, obviously, when you have this light going through, like your gobos and colors, depending on what distance you're projecting the gobro, or your, I guess, projection, um, the see are going to be in or out of focus. So you see, all it is, is this is all threaded, and so as you turn it, it would go farther and away from the focal point, um, making it more focused. Okay, so this is pretty simple. What we got here is, this is obviously the controller. There's different connectors. There's the dip switches that actually have you pick where your channel is gonna be on your DMX uh, controller. And then here's all just the different connectors. Uh, a fuse, um, your DMX in and output. This is a, a potentiometer is in the center so that's actually your audio adjustment um, which a potentiometer it just varies resistance so it's just a basically adjustable resistor um, and then the good guts of this part is over here you'll see we got two motors and they are going to be spinning two different things the one here is actually moving the gobos which I'll have to pull those out for you. And then the one on this side is doing the color wheel. So that's how you have the two wheels. And when they hit, when they're overlapping in, the, in between, that's where you have the lens here. Which by the way, even though most people wouldn't be taking this apart, one thing that is nice about taking this apart is you can get all this dust off and clean it out. So you'll have a much brighter projection. But yeah, let's, uh, let's continue. Alright, there we go. 
So there's our color wheel and our gobo wheel, and you can, like I was saying, you can see the colors are literally just pieces of glass that they glue on. So you could always um, pull these off and swap them. So if you want to make different colors, or even cooler yet, if you put um, a few different colors in, you might have to be able to do like um, multicolor effects. And then here's the gobo wheel, and all it is is it's literally a stamped piece of metal. I imagine they made this material for the gobo a really thin stamped material so that it's cheap and then they put it on a thick piece of metal with holes in it so that way it's stiffened up and supported um just anything you could think of where you could take something and maybe even glue it onto this piece you can make your own custom gobos but there again that's how it works so they this wheel can go around and give you different gobos while this one goes around and gives you different colors Okay, now um, we're going to fire this up, and what uh, you're going to see, Sophie, <laughs> is um, each... Um, so now we're taking this apart, um, we'll run it, and what you'll see is... Um, what you'll see is each one up... Oh, there's going to be a problem. Alright, now that we got this apart, what you'll see is on the back... It's hard to see... But on the back of each wheel, there's a little knob, and it's going to hit something that's stuck. And my thinking behind it is, the program is set up that, you know, these could be in some random spot, and then this doesn't know where the actual wheel is, because these motors are, um, they don't have any coders or anything on them. So my thinking is, when this thing starts up, it's going to turn them all to one way until that hard stop hits, and then it's going to just stall the motor um, and then when the light turns on then it will count steps um, to know which position it wants to go to so it's gonna go wee and it's gonna get stuck and keep going and then it's gonna say okay you ran it on enough that this is zero position now go 20 steps okay that's go but one 20 steps that's go but two something like that so let's start her up um, So you see they're moving. Oh, this one's at the hard stop. That one's at the hard stop, and they're still trying to twist. They're still twisting. And I think the mirror's doing the same thing. Okay, it says it's done. So now I'm gonna turn the light on. Ah! And now it's doing the color. You see the color wheel's moving? And now I'm gonna do the gobo wheel. So now what's gonna happen is, again, it's just counting steps so if I was to do something like turn it hard like that now it's out of position so now again when you go to turn it off when you go to turn it back on it's now going to jog them to get to that first position and that's basically it so thank you guys so much for watching um, I know I said I was gonna do three likes but I only did one but tell you what if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more let me know what you want to see and I'll, I'll gladly take apart more lights and show you how they work. I got a large variety of different types, so just let me know what kind you're thinking about trying to do a modification of, or what kind, uh, you know, of light you just want to take apart, and I'll do it for you. So, thanks again for watching, and have a good one. Thanks, guys. By the way, since someone's going to mention it, yes, the light is back up and running here. I'm going to go left, right, left, right, up, down, colors, and gobos. <laughs> Thanks for guys. Thanks. That's cool. Thanks again for watching guys and have a good one. See ya.